This right, is this was your movie, so I'm gonna let you go ahead and kick it off, man. It was your well, it, it's, it was it your movie. Well, actually, it wasn't your movie. You're right. It yeah, was somebody. It wasn't my movie. Uh, yeah, the listener uh, suggested it, and please, uh, listeners, continue to suggest movies. The only thing I ask is that they're not over two and a half hours, because Miracle has saying the, the so the movie we have to review today is Miracle at Saint Anna, and I forgot how long it was. It's a two hour and forty minute movie. Yes. Super long, right? Super yes. long. Um, it's a Spike Lee joint. Yeah. Um, Spike, and it was a direct answer to Clint Eastwood. So Clint Eastwood had the Flags of Our Fathers, um, and this is some of the movie stuff that I'm. Uh, I think people might have forgot about. But if you're a big movie person, you know, Clint Eastwood had the Flags of Our Fathers, and uh, Spike Lee was like, "Yo, it was black. It was African Americans in that war. It was black people in that war." Um, it wasn't no black people in the movie. He so his direct so it was that was the whole back and forth for a little bit. So Miracle at Saint Anna was actually his direct answer to, um, black like Clint Eastwood having like a movie without black people is all right. Let me make a war movie and put black men in this movie because black men fought this war, and there's some some good stuff in the war. So it was about the what 21st Regiment Buffalo Soldiers or 13 well uh, some regiment um like the 13th Regiment uh, Buffalo Sir. Soldiers and they got stuck between uh, like enemy behind enemy, enemy lines, lines and yeah. they, you know, they pretty much were behind, as a behind enemy lines film. Then it's a like a, it's like four different movies in one, man. Yes, um, it is. Yes, it is. Like four different movies in one. Super long. Uh, it was a good movie. Uh, a lot of yeah. lot of good. Uh, um, lot of good script reading. Uh, that's what I would say. Like a lot of good script reading. Uh, uh, Spike Lee uh, is a good script writer as far as natural. And I'm going to get a little movie geekish right here. But uh, Spike Lee is a really good script writer when it comes to natural uh, dialogue. Right. So when it comes to natural vernacular, natural dialogue, him and Quentin Tarantino to me are among some of the best. Like where it's not as poetic as... Uh, another script writer might be, but in it being so natural, it's even more poetic, right? So Derek Luke, like, I feel like I was with him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he was just a regular dude that, you know, I knew. Um, yeah. The movie opens up the same way that Spike Lee kind of intended uh, a movie was on. I think one of them John Wayne war movies was on or something like that. And it was, it wasn't no black people in that movie. So the, the you know, the dude yeah. was like, you know, we were there too. And that was the significance of why Spike Lee decided, you know, to to make that movie. Every popular black actor that women loved at that time that that movie was made was in the movie, right? Yeah, and, and you know, no, <laughs> like, no, 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 no bullshit, no bullshit, man. When it came to like, first off, <laughs> let me say this: that we have to be in the beginning to watch uh, tr of trying to watch it. And I didn't finish. I'm gonna tell you straight up: I didn't finish it. Two hours mm -hmm. forty minutes. Come on, man. I can't finish it, but. Yeah. <laughs> um, what happened to me is, so I was trying to find where I was going to watch the movie at, right? So mm -hmm. everywhere I went to watch the movie it was three ninety nine to watch the movie, right? Yeah, so, yeah, I paid three ninety nine. Yeah, I paid three ninety nine to watch the movie, right? <laughs> so the movie came on, and it came on in the beginning, right where they would start the war. Right, oh, so, so it skipped the, the. I went back and, and seen it, the beginning of it. Yeah. you know what I mean. But I, in, in my mind, I'm saying this cannot be the start of the movie. They ain't talked about nobody, and they ain't talked about nothing. It just went straight to that part. So, but I watched it a little bit, maybe like thirty minutes of it or whatever, to that point. And the first thing I was thinking, man, this movie probably got everybody Tyler Perry and every Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> in this movie, right? That's the first thing I thought about. Yeah. Everybody yeah, sure. is in this show from the Tyler Perry, you know, from his movie. Man, I was I was watching him like, dang, man, it's everybody in this, sure. in this movie, man. But um, like you said, man, it it got a list. It, it plays a you. I didn't know that part about uh, Spike Lee and and Clint Eastwood, man. But yeah, yeah. But um, you could tell now as you said that I can tell the response on so things that was happening in the movie. You could tell because race was a big part of the movie too. Uh, when it was when it was going on, yeah, um, it was like more of a statement than a movie, right? I yeah. mean, for me, it felt like more of yeah. a statement than a linear a yeah. linear movie. It was like, yo, this is black people at war. Yeah, it felt more. I felt more of that than a linear kind of movie. Basically. Yeah, and 
just just a couple things, man, I had. Like when I was watching it in the scenes that was like kind of throwing me off a lot. Throwing me off a little bit in war. And it, couple just for the movie sound. And I and I know Spike Lee and what he was doing and what he was trying to create. Uh, but a couple of things I was <laughs> I was like laughing at, right? One was the Tyler Perry movie stuff, because I said all these actors are yeah, the Tyler yeah. Perry movie. The other one was how they was having this good ass conversation during the during the war. Like they having actually Spike conversation. Lee. Doing it as they yeah. walk as they walking through there, they having like full conversations, right? Hey, and and, and the start, like right there, that point, that's what I mean about like any any young filmmaker or whatever you do, most people in the Navy, but if you are that's the that's what Spike Lee and Quentin Tarantino does. Mm-hmm. If you think about it and you watch their movies, they add like these really natural, good conversations that people would probably really have. Yeah. In a mo- in their movies, and then they base the action around that con they weave the kind of action into the 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 script, the conversation and yeah. shit like that. So I do like that uh Spike Lee is able yeah. to do that. That was that was good. Then how about that man? Now, how about that fresh Lugie old boy playing his water, man? I thought about that too, man, like in the movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> but old boy was on some bullshit. They watched he him drink yeah, it. Yeah, man, they watched yeah. him drink it. That was kind of that was kind of crazy. Um, but then he, like, the guy that played the the the, the guy who um, wouldn't go in and help them, man, he like, he, uh-huh. that, that was crazy, man. Like, he just, like, deliberately didn't care about their lives at all in this movie. Like, I, I, I guess that could have yeah. been a point we was making it or did that happen. Uh, I'm about to do some my own little research on that man because he deliberately let them them die. That's how the movie you know went anyway. Like he deliberately let a lot of those those guys die. Yeah, um, yeah. That's my dude from Justified too, man. Uh, I forgot his name right now, but he's my dude from Justified. Yeah, man. And then another thing, man. Like like if I'm in a movie and I got all these bad guys out there, man. It was a point in the movie. Where uh, this little boy, man, that they end up helping out or whatever, but he was mm-hmm. under a haystack, man, and his haystack was moving. Mm-hmm. I'm firing, <laughs> man. I, I don't know what's in that haystack, <laughs> man. Haystack is moving because it's a person in it, or whatever. But I'm thinking, man, like, why am I gonna go investigate that haystack moving, man? Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm firing on that haystack, yeah, man. Yeah, we're gonna shoot first and then yeah, see what man. Was especially right. the environment yeah. they was in. Shoot first, yeah. but uh, for the part of the movie I watched, man, I, I kind of like like watching movies like that too, though. That's why I'm a I'm a probably give it a higher score because I like those type of movies where it has to do with with with, with history and, mm-hmm. and 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 race stuff and and where you come from and what people you know. However, because people get these stories a lot of times, these stories come from a from from facts a lot of the times, man. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? So you yeah. wanna you wanna like like vision on how they could be feeling right now and all this type of stuff. And then that's what I think um what Spike Lee won me over with that. Like yeah. these people know crap. It was like they was in that moment. You know what I mean? Like those yeah. like even them arguing amongst each other. You know what I mean? Your old boy with the gold teeth in his mouth, man. Like you know what I'm saying? They argued <laughs> you know what I mean? Arguing amongst each other, man. It was it was it was a real that was real good good stuff they was doing man so uh i'm gonna give it close to a four man i okay. want to like but because that's i, I actually want to finish it too though you know what i mean because i didn't finish yeah. the whole thing i kind of want to finish it it's long movie but it's long. long man like good gracious long, man it's man. long but I, I i think the white slop scene transcended is the one that transcended the movie when they went to get i'm assuming it was like ice cream or something but when they went did you get to oh that scene yeah i did yeah, that, yeah was, that was the, that was the big one that kind of transcended you yeah, know, yeah. the movie because they yeah. these guys like are military, military members yeah, fighting yeah. for the yeah. country, and they still had to deal with the same you know yeah. racism that anybody else would have to deal with. And they spoke up um, about it too, though. You know what I mean? So they, 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 they did a little, they did a little more than that, but yeah, they spoke up about it. Um, yeah, the 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 guy you the guy you talked about earlier that uh, didn't help them. The captain, his name is. Uh, like just because I like the actor so much. His name yeah. is Walton Goggins. I like him a lot. But I'm I'm scrolling through this actor's list, man, and I'm gonna scroll off a couple names. I'm gonna read off a couple names. Derek Luke was in the movie, yeah. right? Derek Luke, we love him, right? Michael Ely, all the ladies love Michael Ely, right? Yeah. Um, Laz Alonzo, ladies love Laz Alonzo. If you don't know who Laz Alonzo is, he he's in the Boys. He's like he plays in that show, The Boys now. Um, John Totoro was in it. Another Ita- Italian actor, like I always like him. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, one of my favorite actors, uh, actually was in it. 
Uh, John Leguizamo was in it. Carrie Washington, Amari Hardwick, Ghost. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just so many. And he played. A, he played a good movie. part in the movie too, man. He played a a pretty yeah, Ghost. Pretty, pretty, uh, yeah. Michael K. Williams, uh, rest in peace, yeah. who just recently passed away. Omar from The Wire. Yeah. He was the scared soldier. He was the guy that was scared. In the beginning, there. yeah. Yeah, so it's so many. It was so many. I could keep going down the list. So many actors in there. Spike Lee movie, of course, if he make the yeah. call, you're going to show up. You said you gave it a four out of five? Yeah. 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 And, 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 and that's me not even finishing it either, though. So I like where it was going, though. I like the story. Yeah. You're right, though. It had a lot of storylines in it, though. But I like the movie. Yeah. I got three I got two different kind of thoughts when I first saw this as a kid in like 2008 when it came out um, it was probably you know one of the best movies that I thought I saw around that time the 2008 um, young guy um, now I, I'm I'm sitting with you around like a 3.8 yeah. 3.8 close to 4 out of 5 it's a good movie um, I think if uh, also it was uh, written, the screenplay was written by James McBride, who also wrote the book that the movie's based off. But I think I think that Spike Lee could have made an even better. It's a good movie. I think Spike Lee could have made an even better movie if he kind of wasn't as focused on making so much of the statement that he mm-hmm. wanted to make and just wanted to make a movie. It probably would have been about 40 minutes shorter and, and a couple other things. But it was a good movie. Um, definitely a, a good statement um, from, from, you know, from Spike Lee. We definitely do, you know, need to see more, you know, black men in these movies and um, black characters that actually, you know, existed. That's why I was happy that we talked about uh, Doris Miller earlier. Um, he had a whole lot to do with um, just making history and then, um, you know, just going into World War II, um, the book that I reviewed, that connects us to Doris Miller. Yep. And then this movie connects all of that stuff because we talk about some black soldiers. Um, yeah, they were Buffalo soldiers, but um, a lot of good stuff from them. So I give it like a, uh, like I said, like a 3.8 out of, yeah. out of 5. Uh, definitely a good movie. Yeah. Uh, you should watch it, but kind of um, be prepared. Prepare yourself, be prepared. Man. Like, Get your popcorn such a, ready, such, man. Get your popcorn ready. Such a time. <laughs> such yeah, such a time. It's 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 like it's like a PTSF podcast, man. It's, it's yeah, a long, man. It's a long it's a process. Ride. You better do it in, do it in layers, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do yeah. It in layers.